Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I am your host, Marianne. Today is a craft with me episode uh, where I'm gonna be faffing around with paper, probably working on a journal or two, and just otherwise catching up. Really happy that you're here and able to keep us, uh, keep me company and hopefully I can keep you company as well. So one of the things that is a follow-up is, I don't know if you will call this piece of paper, I wanted to fold this up into an origami envelope and I completely lost the plot, couldn't remember how to do it and um, just set it aside and then I said that I would figure out how to do it and come back. Um, Kirsten at Quirky Queen's Journals has uh, an origami envelope as well that is um, absolutely worth uh, having a look at and following and this is gonna be slightly different, and that is okay because uh, who doesn't like options? So let us get started here. Right. Step one, get a piece of paper. Okay. Piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. No magic here, no cards up my sleeve. Uh, that was a joke. Step one, and I think origami is usually always about fold the paper in half one way or another. So I am folding this to the center, uh, folding it um, not the short on the short edge, but on the long edge. So we've got this fold. Then we're gonna take each of these two ends and we're gonna fold it in like this. So we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna fold it to the first fold. And we are gonna do the same here and fold it to this fold. Just like that. Then we are gonna take this edge and we are gonna fold it up to the paper edge that's, that's made by this triangle. And you should have a, a little bit of a, a corner flap here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. And I need to turn this around just because it's easier for me to fold. There we are. So we have folded it like this, folded the two tops down, and then the last piece is we are gonna take this edge and we are gonna line it up with that piece there. So that little tuck spot, this corner. So if I had this down, essentially what I'm doing is folding it up and then tucking it in here. And then I am doing the exact same thing on the other side. Just like that. And there you have it, you have an envelope. So let's do another one, just because that was fast. And um, sometimes tutorials, you wanna have more than one go at it. So one of the things that you can do to eliminate this line, if you wanted to, was create, um, just a small pencil line instead of doing the fold. And then when you're done, you can unwrap it and then er erase the, the pencil fold. Um, and then you're good. You have a surface that doesn't have a fold on it. So uh, we'll do this again. So we're gonna take an eight and a half by 11. We're gonna fold it in half. Open it back up. Then we're gonna fold the corner in and we're gonna have this side fold up to the fold that we just made. And then we're gonna pull this one down and match that side up to the fold. There. We're gonna pull this up and we're gonna match it to the edge of this triangle. And you know you're on the right track when you have that little pocket. We're gonna do the same thing on the top. Pull that down. Oh, look at me. Decent fold. And then you are gonna take this corner here and you are gonna tuck it underneath that little flap at the top. And then you are gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go after this tuck here and you're gonna pull that corner in. And you're gonna have a fold that is easy enough to unfold. 
Um, this would be lovely if you had a, um, a feature image that was in the center and you wanted to create sort of a, a journaling spot um, just with the, the unfold. Now look what I've done. Unfold, da 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 da. There we are, and there we are. So now we are gonna do this. Now the difference between this paper and this paper is this is a square and this is a rectangle. The rectangle gives us, um, what does it give us? It gives us this additional space, I think. So we'll see if this even works. Um, and if it doesn't work, we'll use this blue paper. That's a lot for Saturday morning. Mm, there we are. Okay, so what did we say we were gonna do? We're gonna fold it over this way. unfold it so corners in so the corner oh this will be fine corner in just like that this corner in just like that doing fine Fold this edge up to here we're doing right because we have this little pocket fold this down Create that second pocket and then we're going to fold this up mm -hmm. there we are and then fold this down like this oh it works ah. so slightly different shape but idea is still the same. So the difference between using a square and a rectangle is a rectangle has a much smaller edge taken off and in a square you have a, a, a proportionately larger piece. So look at us, we've got envelopes. I hope you um, enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, if you want more information, um, certainly Google Origami envelope folding and uh, you'll be able to see images that have this as the um, as the place to follow. Now we're going to have like a minor rest. I'm going to have a, a swig of tea and uh, I'm just going to bask in the glory of look at us being able to do origami envelopes. I hope everybody is doing well today and that you may have a a cup of tea or a cup of something and maybe a, a cookie or a biscuit or um, something comforting to eat while we craft together today. No snow here again. Um, beautiful sunny day. I uh, can see birds flicking back and forth on my uh, bird feeder. I always try and keep it full during the winter so that the little ones don't get starved. Okay, so we are done. We are done that. I'm very pleased with the way that turned out. And so these are the ones that I wanna keep. This is pink. I don't need the pink. Let's sort of slide that over to the side here. And then slide, oh, oops, it's all gonna fall. Everybody will recognize, here is our math journal. And we are now in the pocket phase and the stuffing of the pocket phase. So I have stuff and more stuff. And there is also more stuff on the other side that is out of camera view. And we'll see how we get on. Uh, I don't know what order I'm going to do this in. So one of the th so I've got some large pieces. So let's start with those because I don't think just starting at the top and then going is necessarily the right way to do this. So we have these pages and this page. So this is a fun page, which is um, uh, basically just doing the math homework and then giving it a grade to be able to see which is uh, right and which is wrong. 
which I thought was fun. I think this is a um, from a book that is thrifted and it is uh, fun activities to do. This is a torn out article on Stefan Banach, who is a mathematician who solved impossible equations. And it's a whole little story about him. This graphic is so pretty. I like this a lot. That would have made a really fun page all on its own. Uh, and this comes from a uh, Polish inventors and Polish, um, pi Polish pioneers, that's it. So I don't think folding it this way is gonna work, so we have to fold it on the side. And I think what I'm just gonna do is just fold this in half. There we are. I have a bone folder somewhere. I don't know where it is. I will use the top of my scissors, it's good enough. Um, let's put this in the second part. See if there is, um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a large pocket or a belly band. Nope, not large enough. See where we get. Worst comes to worst, we can always paper clip it in. Uh, that might fit either. Huh, that's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit, is it? I don't know, maybe? Nope. 100% not gonna fit. This one? I'm gonna say no. Nope. Well, already we're running into trouble. I haven't even started. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Hmm? Well, it fits in there. There we are, that's what I wanna do. There's another spot. I would put it there. Well, I might have to make a tux, oh, there. That's where we put it, phew. There we are, oh, there we are. That just makes me very happy. Okay, one done, 23 more to go. Next piece, uh, note to self, we need to fold that into something that's a little bit smaller. And where did that, it's a belly band in this side, I think. On this side. There is some merit to going through this page by page. There we are. Uh, fold it in half and half again. Yes, that'll work. Uh, what was I was gonna say, there is some merit to doing it in order. But I don't think I have the, oh, that's the perfect way to display that. You can just sort of see it. Good, all right, two pockets done. Look at us, practically done. Um, let's see for pieces of tucking stuff. So this is a quote sheet, quotation sheet. Um, the best way of removing negativity is to laugh and be joyous. Having a positive mental attitude is asking how something can be done rather than saying it can't be done. One may walk over the highest mountain one step at a time. And Albert Einstein, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Which is usually pointed out by the person not directly in the difficulty. Because it's easy for them to say. Oh, well that's gonna stick at the top, so I guess not. Two Albert Einsteins on the same page? Mm, maybe not. Three young rats and one two buckle my shoe. That's fun. And I'm just gonna uh, do that way. Uh, 
Okay, we need to pay attention a little bit here. Take this out. This folds here. Do it in the middle of the poem. There we are. Top, and we do that. There we are. Okay. We're doing the front. Let's do another one in the back here somewhere. Oh, that was a flip out. Do I have any small pockets? Or small tags? This won't fit. That won't fit. Mm, too small. Too small. Too small. This might. Uh, too tall? Too tall. Too big. Too big. Oh, that'll fit. And this is imagine how we would be if we were less afraid, which I really like as an expression. Oh, small tag. Um, so we are going to fold it this way. And then... I need to fold it into the cloud. There. There we are. That would be nice. I don't have these decorated, and that's another part of my, I guess, my process learning. I've not done these in any. logical order when i watch people like well everybody else um everybody seems to have a and then you do this and then you do that and bob's your uncle you're done oh do that no i'll do that nope I'll do that and i need something for there what do I have off here? This is a bit large and it needs some space to journal if I put it down and I don't think I'm going to do that. What else do we have? This little stack of stuff here. Uh, pattern, pattern, pattern. Pattern. Oh, yes, got that. We have that. I wonder if that would work. Sure. Oh, it's stuck there. Um, this is another pocket thing. Tag, card, 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 directions. Da, 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 da. Some more card. Card, card, card. Okay, that's a lot. Um, and I was really generous with my pockets in terms of here is a pocket that's got... <gasps> there we are. That fits in there. Uh, let's flip to the front for a while. Does that fit? It's a drilling spot. Got that green that goes goes with that. I do that. Um, I was saying there is a lot of pockets that are multiple pockets. So um, this one is two pockets. This other one that was at the back, it was a stack of pockets. Did I use this as a? Or did I just glue it all down? I think I just glued it all down. Uh, who can be in here? Oh, he just peeps out. I just love that. And page, 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 like this. I have one, two, three, and four if I want to. Um, does this fit? It does not fit. We cut it in half.
So something short there, something short. Something medium. Let's do it this way. Did they do that or do they just go like that? Well, mine's going to go all the way in. Just going to say that. Um, here's the Albert Einstein one. We can fold him in half. And put that as a really tall one. A circle would be an interesting change of shape. What else do we have here? And this. Here we are. We have that, which I still really like. A belly band. Bingo card belly band. Oh, yes, I like the blues. That works. Um, oh, there we are. Look at us moving along. What can go in here? Can this go in here? Yes, it can. Yeah, it can go. What does it look like on the other side? Oh, yeah. That's kind of funky. There we are. Um, let's look at some of these cards here. What can fit in here? That can't fit in there, so I need something that's more narrow than that. Of course, we were all excited to be able to do wide ones. And then find that they're not particularly useful. So this would fit there. She would fit. This would fit. It's too tall. So that's got to fit down there. Hmm. I'm not going to lie, there's trouble. How about... Oh yeah, this was a uh, fold out. Square in a circle. Well, that circle has got a color that's sort of matchy match. Can we do it this way? Yep. There we are. That's all right. Okay. See how this one fits. Oh, killing me. Okay. So she is, it is that order of wide. I might have to do some trimming. This is fit. Not particularly. Does this fit? Yes, it does. There we are. Um, nope, it disappears. See what else we have here. This is a wrap around. So maybe we do some trimming and we do these two. Okay, so. Oh, I don't want to trim her. I don't want to trim her too much. Would she fit? She would fit. Okay, so let's set this aside for a minute. We'll do some trimming, and I've got my boxo stuff on the side here in my paper bin. Um, what do we need? I need a ruler, and I need my blade. There we are. Alrighty. What do we want to do for edges here? That's 1 16th. Let's try that. Oh, nice to work with a sharp blade. Oh, this is not going to turn out too badly. 16th might be a good measurement. Let's 
So I had to go and do a couple of errands this morning. I had to go to my bookstore, my local bookstore, for a 2023 calendar, a particular kind that I get. And I also had to go to Michael's because who doesn't have to go to Michael's all the time? I need paint, acrylic paint, uh, because apparently I am now down a jelly plate rabbit hole and I'm running out of paint. Um, and I was amazed to find out how early those stores were open. Michael's was open at seven this morning. Come on, come on, please, please, no, please. Oh, this would have been a really good reason to have um, that glue, glitter glue, because I bet you that this would fit in the pocket. Well, I'm not going to trim it anymore because that is enough and we may have to find another spot. Oh, sad pants. Sad, sad pants about that. That one's done. Got that one done. Okay. I'm going to put her in here. Because now she fits. Oh, that looks nice. Um, we've got that one all full. Oh, which tore. Something just tore. Oh, it's just the sound. Uh huh. You were. This might put a card in there. Oh, where's my bit? The little um my the 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 I have no words. It's here. It's in the stack. I've just been through it. It's very tiny. It's that little booklet that makes me so happy. That is here somewhere. Anyone? Bueller? Did it fall? Okay, stop. We are going to go through an orderly look. Okay, there's another card that can go in there. Go do that. There. Maybe a little bit to say the word achieve. These are these cards. The cards. Postcards, another large card. That. These two. The envelope. That. Oh, found it. Here we are. This makes me. Let us just look through this again. This makes me so happy. It's a, a little zine. I think it's the smallness of it that just delights me so much. be lost no you'll still be able to see it and then let's put it on the black so you do see it um does it fit uh, it doesn't fit let's put that in um this would be fun if you backed if i backed it so let's do that let's get some blank paper of which I happen to have a piece just kicking around. I think it's actually the end page from this book. Oh, where's my glue? My glue is right here. So I don't know if you remember a while back I showed you the LCBO food and drink magazine and I picked out a couple of recipes that were really attractive. One of them was Grandma Kea's uh, chocolate fudge cake. I made it and it turned out quite well, I must say. I made some modifications to the recipe. I um, didn't use any of the peppermint because it the peppermint in a cake, I don't think, uh, is a it's not the situation for paper for peppermint. I think the situations for Peppermint are really in toothpaste and maybe in a candy cane. Or it's certainly candy. Um, so instead of using the peppermint, I sliced the cake in half and filled the inside with some 
seedless raspberry jam because raspberry and chocolate is a popular truffle flavor combination. And that turned out well. And so I had a friend over yesterday for lunch and we together unofficially kicked off the holiday season. Uh, I gave her an advent calendar and we talked about putting up my tree and I baked that cake. And so I feel like I am now in the, um, not full on spirit, but uh, spirit adjacent, shall we say. Uh, certainly going to Michael's today as well was a, a boost to that spirit. Though I have to say Michael's is uh, got huge discounts already on their stuff. And I feel like their season is like winding down already from a shopping perspective, which is fine, I guess. That's what retail looks like. I was up very early this morning and I was thinking a lot about this channel and I didn't think I would enjoy doing this as much as I am. And I was thinking, okay, so this has got to go up one. This has got to go down one. There we are. Might have to go in the back. Oops. And I was thinking about plans for 2023 and what we can do. Or what I can do. And so I have thoughts, which is pretty great. Uh, I started this channel just over a month ago which is pretty great. And what I wanted was a little community, people to keep me company and people to learn from and share with and just generally have a faff around with some paper. And I think that we are well on our way to doing that, which is really great. I mean, I've got to say, really great. Ooh, what if I folded that in half? Or this, mm, it's too big. I did that. Oh, I don't want to ruin the card. I could fold it in half. No. Oh, I'm running out of stuff. That's sad. I could cut that. How much would I lose? I'd be, I'd be willing to get rid of the vault. And I've been naming all of these episodes season one, because this is legitimately the first season. And I think January 1st should be the start of season two, just because January 1st is the start of the calendar year and it will make things easier, I think, for me to track, we think. So season two might be starting up in just over a month. Oh, yes! Fits, okay, and uh, now I need uh, quarter rounders. There we are. I might have all of these, oh no I don't. <laughs> no, you don't have all the pockets stuffed yet. There's one for that side. Um, let's do another corner. See, they're all plain. They don't have all of the fancy on the, on the front. Not very good at fancy yet. Pieces, I think. 
Uh, boarding has reach. Gonna reach over here, pull this stuff over, and see what we have in this little package. See if there's anything. I think these are all. Oh, everything is such a jumble, and I need some organization. And I think, as I said, I think in one of my very early introductions. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, so is that. These are fun. These are these are legitimate tags. Hmm. This is a base. That's just a piece of paper. Um, I am close to a, um, a shipping depot. Close within, say, um, 10 kilometers. And every now and then, one of these floats on the road. And it's uh, a check tag. And I always pick them up because they're really industrial looking. Oh. Huh. Library envelope. Oh, a calendar. That'd be fun. Uh... Carmen, Ikea, it's a list. Okay, and this is just all other stuff and templates and blah, blah, blah. Okay, see, like this is how I have any kind of order in terms of my ideas and things that I've seen other people do and then copy them and then I put them in a stack and then I put those stack in another stack and then there's paper on top of that and then I lose it and it's just all a big mess. Yes, I think I'm gonna do that. I know flowers isn't the uh, theme, but who doesn't want a who doesn't want a wee calendar? There we are. What is this? Any of these would be suitable. This one maybe? No, this one's got a three on it. This is numbers. Focus. There we are. And this would be a perfect example. I somewhere have. those little will tell tags. And I think they are in here. Again, off to the side. Something is gonna crash. Uh, have I lost them? I might have lost them. Yes, I've lost them. Sad pants. Again. Oh, maybe not. Nope, here they are. Found them. Okay, that's gonna tip. That's gonna fall. So you can hear a crash. It's not going to be loud. It's just going to be paper. Okay, that's going to crazy. And clearly this setup isn't optimal either. So, lots of things to improve for season two. And I hope you'll keep me company for the the raucous journey that it will be, no doubt. Filled with all kinds of errors and mistakes and oh my gods and surprises and delights. And everybody gets to be part of the story. Here we are. Uh, doing the right end. Yes, I am. I'm hoping that that's blank. Yes, it is. There we are. Put that as top and on the glue. And so let's do a okay, done, done, done. Yep. I think that looks like a rabbit. Every time I look at it, I think it's a rabbit. Just needed to share that with you. Um, ba -doo, doo, 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 doo. This, and we have our two pockets. That's fine. We have that fun. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. So these are actually pockets. Um, so let us back this. Do I have a piece of paper? Do I have a piece of paper? Are you yelling, saying, yes, Mary, I only have a piece of paper? Pity sake, you have a piece of paper. Does this fit? Yeah, good enough. So this is certainly a full journal, full of stuff anyways. 
with 8 million double and triple pockets in them. joy card. I call it my joy card because it is a an expired gift card from Michaels that has the word joy on it. And while I was there today, I was looking to see if they have um, any cards. It's, this must be an old one because uh, they don't have joy anymore. They have things like create and other fun words. But I think the joy card is An excellent expression. Oh dear, I didn't cut it right. Okay, let's do it again. We can do it again. Here we are. And let's do little wee ones. Here. And get the book back over here. Does it fit? Oh, you can see it still. There we are. Okay, so two pages in, both pockets. Both pockets. Both pockets. Only one. The flip with the rabbit. Only one. Two pockets, pile of pockets, need another one. Um, it's blue. Is there numbers on it? No. No numbers, no numbers. No numbers, no numbers. A little one though. I could make a ticket. Let's make a ticket. So this is just a general ticket size and I'm using a hole punch to do those little corner doodad things. That is plain. It kind of needs something on the front. And is there anything that would be fun? Well, this is kind of fun. It's math, but it's not Put it there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it there and I'm going to leave it alone. Their French have a saying, une crise par la fois, which means one crisis at a time, which I think is a, an excellent summary of my current general approach. Oh, I love that card and that I got acknowledgements there. I know it's not fine to be proud of your own work in that way, but... There we are, so that's done. There we are. Huh, I need another side. Nope, way too big, way too big, way too big. Everybody is way too big. Everybody is way too big. Oh, it might be pretty good. Sure. Put an owl in. This is a flip out. Pockets. Another spot. Oh, this goes on for days. Absolute days. Got a 
Ну. Am I gonna have to fold this? Yeah, we're gonna fold it. We're gonna fold it. If it doesn't fit, I'm gonna be sad. Oh, just a, I believe Gail Augustinelli has a unit of measure called a skosh, which is a teeny tiny, eensy beensy bit. Maybe two skoshes make a hair or two hairs make a skosh. Maybe that's the way it goes. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that. Oh, yes. And these were trouble, weren't they? There, there's one. Yes, it's large. I wonder if I can fold it. Everything is getting folded. Nope. Oh, what do we do? I'm going to put a finger in there and see if that's the only one that I have left. Just because I want to have some kind of general celebration. Okay, so that one's done. Yep. Got that one. Oh, I like her. Uh, hmm. That's how that whole thing got started, I think. Yeah, that's full of stuff. It's two. So I have two pockets left. I have this one, which we'll get to in a minute, and this one. What do I have left? Um, now I'm just looking over the side here and see if there's anything that I can pull into service. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't have... So I need two more things to fill, two pockets to fill, and then we will have the filling part of this done. And it will be about that. Oh, it's still not bad. Not awful, not bad. Still closable anyways. Okay, I'll take that. I'll flip that up that way. And I'm gonna stop doing this, I think. But we've got about 12 minutes left before we hit the hour. And so I want to show you another project that I have in my head uh, that I want to do. So let's do a little bit of clean up on all five, because cleaning up is always a way to sort of reset. Get yourself sorted out and organized again. Otherwise you have paper stacking up all over the place at a great rate. And we know how good I'm at that. There we are. Put that in that stack there. Those are my elastic bands, my pen, scissors, my tape, a couple more tags. Get that out of the way. All right, so my project. So this is Daffy Diary. Um, it could be the most amazing magazine for junk journalers to use if you're not going to sell them and uh, god knows i'm not going to sell any of mine at the moment i'm barely equipped to sit up straight having said that um they are very particular as a magazine about not including any of their graphics or pages in any journals that are to be sold uh i think it is complicated copyright stuff and it is published in a country that isn't Canada and it's uh, I don't understand the the rules I don't understand 
how they can sell a thing, which is this magazine, and then not tear out those pages and be free of that copyright. Just like we do with all of our books. We understand we can't scan and redistribute a reproduction of an image from a book unless it is, um, I think, over 99 years old. But all of the, we bought a book, let's say, from a thrift store, it was published in 18, 1987, we can tear it apart, we can put, use that content, put it in a journal and sell it. So anyways, long story short, um, I wanna get rid of this Daphne's Diary. And what I wanna do is create a book that is based on Arne and Carlos's art book that they have created. And I want to put labels and stickers in it. So I have, when, you know, you're cleaning up a, a used bottle or whatever, I want to be able to collect the label. Um, there's stickers that are on the packaging and all that kind of stuff. I want a place to be able to tear it off, land it, and... If I am able to, I would love to be able to put like um, a collector tag. Um, I'm leaning over here for, this is a Tracy Fox label that's, doesn't have, it has, gives you a visual effect of being something from a science department. And I would like to do something blank and then have that attached to the label with some, this is, I don't know, uh, spaghetti sauce that I use in a cannelloni. Here's the date. I want to be able to do that. That's, that's the vision. And so um, I am going to start just tearing up this book. It's got a lot of great images. This might be a good back. And I'll go quickly through the method that Arnie and Carlos have for creating their journals. And I'm just going to get something in the middle here, hopefully break the spine. There we are. So I can get out some clean pages. There we are. It seems to be pretty good. So their way of doing this is they will take, say, one... Two, uh, let's do three. And I plan to use not just this book paper, but include some of the um, jelly prints that I am accumulating at a great rate now, and maybe some of um, the other papers that I have kicking around. So their method of creating a, uh, an art journal, and it's the way they create all of their art journals, is they take about three pages, then they fold it in half, get this out of the way, I'll fold it in half, then they will sew, sew using a sewing machine down the middle. And this will be a, uh, a what the heck do you call them? The only word I can think of at the moment is section. That's not the right word. You know what it is. Hey, you're screaming at the camera or it's at the screen. Um, well, you're filling in the blank for me. Signature. Oh my goodness. So that would be one signature. And then they rinse, repeat. So they create a bunch of these together. And let's say you have 10 in a row. And then you would have a uh, a row of stitching down here. And then they basically use a needle and then pick up stitches going back and forth and back and forth so they are essentially creating a um, a bound um a bound book then they will take that stitching and then they will put like a cheesecloth or a, a binding over top and they will glue it and then they will take that and then they will put that into a book the the value of being able to do a few number of pages and a lot of them and that method of binding is that when you open them, you will uh, almost always get this kind of 
clean open as opposed to um, my book here wouldn't necessarily have a clean open. I don't know if I'm clear about that. Um, anyways, this is what I want to do because I am starting to accumulate uh, labels and stickers and whatnot. Um, I will, of course, take you on the journey. I will keep you updated on what I'm able to do. I think this is all for now, all the trouble that we've been able to get up to on a Saturday morning. Thank you so much for watching and for keeping me company today. It means a lot to me to know that everybody is out there, hopefully uh, crafting along and um, having a nice Saturday morning as well. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more episodes and we'll see you soon. Bye now.